Niners meet as we welcome you to the NFL on Fox. Along with Rondé Barber, I'm Chris Meyer. San Francisco with a 7-5 and five record. Still a shot at the playoffs, Rondé, but it feels a lot worse. Well, it feels worse because they put themselves in a situation where the remaining four games matter. They have to win, and it starts here in Oakland today. And it starts with their quarterback, Colin Kaepernick, having to play better. Head coach Jim Harbaugh defending him this week after one of his more miserable career performances on Thanksgiving against Seattle and there's Derek Carr the Raiders feel they have the young quarterback to build around the second rounder out of Fresno State who's played every game Bruce Ellington active and back to return the Raiders won the toss and defer and driving it through the end zone Sebastian Janikowski Colin Kaepernick whose 15 touchdown passes Ronde all have come from outside the pocket this year he has not run the ball well recently himself in the first few games of the season he was successful moving on the ground well they've clearly changed the emphasis of this offense trying to keep him in the pocket earlier in the season to mixed results really and last week he had one of his most miserable performances he'll have to improve on that mightily today it's gonna be a rough environment we'll see if he gets it done on first down, Kaepernick with time, running, pointing, and throwing. And it's intercepted! Brandon Ross on a floated pass. The Raiders with a takeaway. This Raiders defense, only its ninth turnover on the season and on the, on the first play of the game. Now, Colin Kaepernick, you see him. Play is set up to get out of his hands quickly. He had his fullback in the flat there, but he's always been an improviser and trying to get this ball downfield. Ill-advised turnover on the first play of the game. And if you're the Oakland Raiders, that's exactly the start that you wanted. Both of these teams coming off embarrassing losses. And remember, the Raiders that shut out at St. Louis said they were shell-shocked for Kaepernick, only his ninth interception this year. But the Raiders start on offense at their own 49. What's up? Darren McFadden straight ahead and goes nowhere. Derek Carr completing 59% of his passes with 14 touchdown tosses. He leads all rookie quarterbacks in the NFL in that department this season. And you and I agree, Chris, that this kid is a professional already. You listen to him, listen to him talk in his meaning, his manner in which he approaches his job. It's exactly what the Raiders need. Latavius Murray is active. We expect What's to see that? a lot of him today on the backfield as well as Carr. Whoops. And is on the run. And the rookie is in 49er territory and reaches near a first down. Let's get a final and an update on that Colts-Browns game and Joel Platt. That's right, Chris. In a game some of you were watching, Andrew Luck went 90 yards in 11 plays and finds T.Y. Hilton for the one-yard touchdown. 25-24 Colts, under 20 seconds to go. Chris Ronde, Jen, back to you. Thank you, Joel. One of the outstanding young quarterbacks in the game is Luck as he leads his team to victory after the first down run from Carr. Inside the 40 of San Francisco passes caught. Marcel Reese with another Raider first down. The fullback slash halfback who does a lot of things well for this Raider team. As we check the lineup, James Jones, the former Packer, leads the team in catches with 60. And he is often the go-to guy for Carr, who has started every game for the Raiders at quarterback this year. James Jones comes over from Green Bay, and I really like the way he possesses the football for this team. He's really their only option. Up front, this team is much better pass blocking than they are run blocking. We'll see if Darren McFadden and Latavius Murray can get some going in the run game today for the team. He's in the game now. Murray hadn't played since his 100-yard game against Kansas City. Carries there and is knocked down. Out with a concussion last week against the Rams. Well, San Francisco still has a top-level defense despite a number of injuries throughout the season. Justin Smith, the savvy veteran, playing well up front. Chris Borrell in the defensive player of the month with 70 tackles and two interceptions. Great rookie player. He unexpectedly having to step in and has been a surprise for the San Francisco defense so far this season. Murray remains in the game at a running back. They'd like to get him 15 to 18 What's touches. Up? Carr scrambling and flips the pass, completes to Murray. And a group of 49ers. Here comes a flag late. It looked like the whistle had blown. And there was still some shoving going on. 
You got the impression that this rivalry is more important to the Raiders than the 49ers. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Offense number 77. 15 yard penalty, down counts. It'll be third down. If you want to fire up the rivalry juices early in the game, watch Howard here come in late. Really unnecessary, but. Well, this is a game for the fans as well. Oakland and San Francisco, only the fourth time that they've played here in Oakland. And Derek Carr said, remember, he grew up in Bakersfield, California, either a Raider or a 49er fan. He said, fans have come up to me and said, if you just win one more game this year, win this, win <laughs> this one. Geographical rivalry, I think, more than on paper. Only played 12 times in their existence. Split down the middle, record-wise. Great, iconic franchises with great success. Raiders have struggled there over the last decade as the pass is incomplete. Thrown a little behind Kembrell Tompkins. It'll be fourth down. Early in this game, when we were down on that field, it seemed fine. It looked dry. I know there's been a lot of rain in this area, but... You saw Latavius Murray slip, you saw Kimbrell Tompkins, you see it digging up already. We'll have to keep an eye on that as the game goes on, see if it becomes a factor. A 57-yard field goal try for Sebastian Jedikowski. He has the leg. He drives the ball. And the Raiders lead. An early interception by the Raider defense of Colin Kaepernick sets up the Raiders at a 57-yard field goal from Sebastian Janikowski, who is now 13 out of 15 this year. That is his season long. Prior to that, it was 53 yards. And However terse Kaepernick was during the week with the local media, you wonder what the vibe is after throwing an early interception on that San Francisco sideline. Well, then it gives them more fuel. At least now, as they're talking about him, but early in this game, Chris, we'll see how he responds. He, we did talk to Colin on uh, Friday, and he was very sullen, I guess is the word to say. He's, you could say some of that was determination, but the attitude that he's portrayed this week, not only with us, but with the media, puts him in a si situation where if he does have a bad game, he's going to be vilified. So we'll see how he handles that today. Janikowski, who kicked off to start the game and then made the field goal, will boom it again. Back of the end zone through the arms of Ellington and the 49er offense, just as they did to start the game, will open at the 20 yard line with the Raiders leading by the score of 3 to nothing. We welcome those of you just joining us. The NFL on Fox, Rodney Barber, Chris Myers here in Oakland. The Bay Area rival between the 49ers and the Raiders. An early Kaepernick interception led to a field goal for the Raiders. It's the second series for San Francisco. Kaepernick running to his left. He'll lose yards. Seal Moore from his linebacker outside rush spot. Seal Moore is a stack linebacker. You see him right here in the middle of your screen. Just watch his reaction. Nobody comes up to the second level. His design run all the way. And they go after he's talking about slow starts. Interception on the first play and a pass. Tried design run for Colin Kaepernick. Second play and a big loss. Raiders came to play. Kaepernick rushed for more than 50 yards in three of the first four games, but he hasn't been near that mark since over the last eight games. And a loss of seven on that play. The give is to Gore with a big hole, and Frank Gore gets a lot of that yardage back. And that's really the San Francisco offense when it's working well, although he's averaging a career-low 3.9 a carry. They got to get the ball back to Frank Gore. He is the best power runner I've ever seen. They've kind of gotten away from him. Him and Carlos Hyde will get their chances today. Up front, these big guards, Mike Ayupati and Alex Boone, need to have big days inside. See if that run game can get itself established today. Jonathan Martin continues to start for Anthony Davis. 
You potty the left guard, stay with the left tackle. Run! Run! Six Run! defensive backs. Here comes a flag right away. Capper gets rid of it. The whistle blew. Delay of game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Third down. Terry McCauley, our referee, former NSA computer employee, so he's watching everything closely. <laughs> this backs up Harbaugh's team to the 15 on third down. Raiders defense there trying to muddy up the look, give them a bunch of different formations to look at, see if they can confuse them. It took them a little bit too long to discern what they were doing. And you got the delay of game. Kaepernick underneath the Crabtree. Crabtree, can he get the first down? Yes. Caught it seven yards short, but made the run. And Michael Crabtree with his 52nd catch of the season gets Kaepernick out of a hole. The Raiders are sitting back in a, in a deep zone. You see Crabtree there. What they do, watch Anquan Bold. He's blocking the entire way. He gets another block on the outside there by Stevie Johnson, and it just kind of expressed his way there to a first down. Brandon Lloyd is inactive today. Quentin Patton up at receiver for San Francisco. And Carlos Hyde in the backfield as Crabtree has trouble gripping the ball. Brought down right away on the first down throw by T.J. Carey, rookie from Ohio. You talked about the San Francisco offense and running the ball to strength. Vernon Davis, with just two touchdown catches this year after 13 last year, has not set a pace to have a career low number of catches. On second and 11. Kaepernick over the head of Davis, and Crabtree was in the area as well. I'm not sure where that ball was trying to go to. Vernon Davis on that deep crossing route. But he's been off early in this game. We saw the interception first play. That pass there, the only one he's completed is a quick underneath throw. Colin Kaepernick. Now he's been struggling a little bit throwing the football. He's going to have to get himself right in here early in this football game, Chris. Converted on the last third and long. Six defensive backs in again for the Raiders. Three receivers to the top of the screen for Kaepernick. He's running out of the pocket, and he's going down at the 30. The Raider defense, Benson Mayoa, brings down Colin Kaepernick, and it's fourth down for the 49ers. Well, he's got to see this pressure coming in on him. There's actually a really nice game on the left side of the defensive line there by Oakland. Doesn't get rid of the ball quickly and takes a sack. Slow start, Chris, for this 49ers offense and it's reminiscent somewhat of last week picking up where they left off against Seattle on Thanksgiving they were anxious to get going Andy Lee booms this out of here TJ Carey backing up to the nine yard line of Oakland and brought down just short of the 20 a geographical rivalry that goes back in the Bay Area Raiders with the early lead Game is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Book your low fare now at southwest.com. We welcome you back to the Coliseum in Oakland. It's the NFL's oldest current venue. And the Raider fans excited early with a 3 0 lead. Latavius Murray in, step, stepping in after McFadden started at running back. 180! What's up? He gets the carry. And gets across the 20-yard line for the 49ers. Their season opened at Dallas. They lost at home to Chicago. They've actually, the 49ers, been a, a better road team, although this not much of a road game into the area. And coming off that loss against Seattle, but they had won three in a row before that. And it's 7-5, and five, still in the playoff hunt, but can't afford a misstep. Carr. Completes for the first out. A flag comes in as Andre Holmes goes out of bounds. This may be offensive. Pass interference. 
Pass interference. Offense number 18. 10 yard penalty. Second down. Tony Sperano, who took over when Dennis Allen was fired as the head coach in week four. You'll see him get to the top of your route here and just push, he just pushes off. I mean, it's blatant. Hand, arms extended. Cornerback was in position. He has that right. Easy flag for them to throw there. Working against Paris, uh, Parrish Cox, who's in for Tremaine Brock, out with a hamstring injury on that 49ers secondary. Murray remains the back now at second and 18. The first down wiped out. Carr looks one way and is going to keep and then get rid of it. Was down in the end zone. <laughs> and Aaron Lynch, who started for Amon Brooks, who is active but got into some trouble with the team a little bit. Lynch, the rookie, doing a good job with five sacks this year. South Florida rookie, too. I grew up in my backyard, watched him play in college, and he's been a great substitute. They, the strength of this 49er defense is at their outside linebacker, Aaron Lynch, Alden Smith, who we all know, and Ahmad Brooks, who's not starting today, but still, he's been very productive this year, too. He has five sacks on this defense as well. On third and 18, Carr has to get rid of it quickly. It's caught well short of the first down. Michael Rivera, the tight end. Michael Wilhoyt, the linebacker right with him. Only two tight ends up and active for this Raider team today. Scott Simonson brought up from the practice squad, but it's fourth down. Marquette King standing at the goal line of the Raiders. And Bruce Ellington back to receive for San Francisco. Everybody away, the ball drops and rolls inside the 40 of the 49ers. Kaepernick's two out of four so far with a pick. The Raiders enjoying the early lead. Today's game is sponsored by Ford. Beautiful things happen when you go further. The NFL on Fox, the Raiders and 49ers here in Oakland. Spotted at the 40. Under six minutes to go. The early turnover has given the Raiders the lead. Frank Gore in the backfield for Kaepernick. And Kaepernick on the move. Middle of the field and completes. That's Vernon Davis who slips a tackle and gets down to the 37-yard line of Oakland. Hey, there he is. Well, you said it was important for this offense, other than running to Gore, to get the ball to Davis. Well, you know, we know that we talked about it earlier, how much more effective Colin Kaepernick is throwing the football out of the pocket. Vernon Davis has virtually been invisible in this offense all year long. 23 catches to come into the game, coming into the game is just not acceptable for a guy of his talent. They got to continue to push the ball to him all day today, I think, Chris. A 23-yard gain is one of the few big gainers. He's been blocking a lot more with the injuries on the offensive line. After the first down, it's Frank Gore, and he slips through a hole and gets down to the 32. They've been running the ball the least of the Jim Harbaugh era this season. They tried to change this offense, I guess, is a good way to say it, in the offseason. Obviously, there's elements that will always be in there. They felt like it was getting a little bit stale, so they moved a little bit more to get Colin Kaepernick to stay in the pocket, and it just really hasn't worked out. Some of the things that they've done well in the past, they need to get back to doing it. Two back sets, two tight ends like they have now is a good start. On second and five, it's Gore with a big hole, and Frank Gore down to the 20. Another 49er first down. Well, Frank looks like Frank of old here he gets a pull by alex boone out in front of him you see the counter steps in the backfield sealed on the edge and frank gore you give him that much space has always been dangerous like the big plays of vernon davis frank gore no run this year longer than 28 yards last year he had more than 15 of those kinds of runs carlos hyde in it running back top of your screen that's bolded in the backfield and the give straight ahead to Anquan Bolden. A creative offensive alignment there. Well, I don't know who they were trying to fool. 
put him in the backfield. And obviously, it might be trying to set up something later in the, in the game. I, I have to, I'm have to check. You have to ask Rick Odioso here in the, <laughs> in the booth if, if, if uh, Bolton has any rushes in his career. I don't think he does. He is our research and statistician. Bolton, the leading receiver on the team at age 34. I don't think he's going to outrun anybody, but Carlos Hyde might. And the rookie gets the carry and is run out of bounds. I had the second round pick been bothered by a bit of a shoulder injury lately. But a complete back according to the 49ers want to work him in a little bit more. Especially with Frank Gore at age 31 and in a contract year. If they're going to find a way to replace him. He's the guy. He had an outstanding career at Ohio State as you know, Chris. That was Bolden's first of the year. There in terms go. of running the football, on a big third down here. Bolden is in the backfield with Kaepernick and Gore. And he's throwing to Bolden, who's got a first down inside the 10. Charles Woodson, the veteran back there, as you quickly pointed out from your defensive back days, when they ran to Bolden, they were setting up something. Well, this was a different formation. Really set up a triple option type look when you have quarterback and a shotgun they use it just as play action get a guy into the flat quickly it's a nice play offensive coordinator greg roman obviously under some fire here in the bay area from various people getting real creative today a sharp looking yeah. drive by kaepernick and yeah. yeah, this 49er offense Kaepernick throws, completes, that's Bruce Miller, who is in for the 49er. Well, they're going to call him, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to say touchdown, one official said no. Terry McCauley will clarify here. Field goal units out. That was an anticlimactic call there. Well, one official went to raise his arms. You see Bruce Miller here in the flat. We'll, we'll check and see if his left did he, foot did he step out? out of balance. Right there, you can't. Let's it's blocked it's... by the camera view, but the official was right there. And they are... We should see his foot here. The previous play is under review. Timeout. Certainly looks like he did not go out of bounds from that angle. He didn't get a signal from any of the, any of the reps well, on he, the goal line. They, so There was hesitation. We'll take a closer look at Miller's catch and run toward the end zone. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Sprint. After review, the rolling on the field is confirmed. Touchdown. Well, there was never a clear call on the field, but he clearly, Bruce Miller, got into the end zone without stepping out of bounds. He's six, eight inches from the sideline. I'm not sure why we didn't get a confirmation from any of those refs. Well, there, it was there, a touchdown. The replay booth is telling us it was ruled a touchdown, even though no official put his arms completely yeah. up into the air. So Terry McCauley making sure. I don't expect you to be able to read their minds. <laughs> we need visual signals up here. Well, that's what <laughs> officials are supposed to do. And obviously they wouldn't review the touchdown unless it was challenged or it was called a touchdown on the field. But a much needed touchdown. Kaepernick to Miller. And the 49ers snap out of an early first, first quarter slump and lead. This week, Fox brings you the biggest fight card in broadcast television history. It's a two-night UFC event beginning Friday with the Ultimate Fighter finale on Fox Sports 1. And then continuing Saturday, UFC Fight Night on Fox. Just over four minutes, 60 yards covered for the 49ers and the touchdown kicking off. Phil Dawson, TJ Carey back for the Raiders. A high kick, carry from the 6-yard line. Works up across the 25-yard line to set up the Raider offense. Let's head down to the field and Jennifer Hale.
Well, Chris Ronde mentioned potential problems with a soggy field earlier, and it is something both sides are worried about. Offensive coordinator Greg Olson had his squad out here early this morning testing their footing. James Jones tells me he's going to start with his normal molded cleats, but on both sides, Chris, even for Eric Reed over for the 49ers, there's going to be a change of shoes and longer 5 8 inch cleats. Six inches of rain here in Oakland. This field has stayed covered, Chris, but the Raiders left their practice field uncovered to get used to working in water lock conditions. What's up? Even Jim Harbaugh, the 49er head coach, has cleats on. Pass is complete. That's Marcel Reese. Tough yards up across the 32-yard line. Not a lot of head coaches in the NFL wear cleats, do they? No, because they're uncomfortable. <laughs> and there's Jim Harbaugh working the sideline and working those feet. He played for 15 years in the NFL. Some ha habits are hard to break, right, Chris? Yeah, and his first coaching job in the NFL with the Raiders. I do, I do not have cleats up here in the booth. <laughs> you wear socks. People wonder What's about it? that. On second down four, straight ahead, Murray. And it'll bring up third and short. Let's check on those Seahawks with Joel Platt. All right, Chris, I don't have cleats on either, but Jeremy Macklin does, and he takes this pass from Mark Sanchez into the end zone. That's Macklin's 10th of the season, matches his career high. That was set back in 2010. 7-0 Eagles in that one. Chris Ronde and Jen. <laughs> Joel, an outstanding quarterback in his college days. Terrific baseball player as well. So he did get the first down, and 49er fans watching that Seahawk-Eagle game closely. Joe will keep us updated with Kurt Benefee. Also, Arizona playing at home against Kansas City. Latavius Murray, first down, 49er territory. You get a glimpse of what they see in this kid, and he's their big play threat. He's only came in with 14 carries, but watch him stick his foot in the ground right there and get vertical. That lane is huge he has some cutback ability has big strong legs there's a reason why this guy is going to see a lot of carries today for the Raiders had a 90 yard run and that win the only win for the Raiders this year where they knocked off Kansas City it's the end of the opening quarter here in Oakland Raiders score first Kaepernick a touchdown toss San Francisco leads 7-3 but the Raiders are on the move the reference to Jim Harbaugh, who has a year remaining on his contract. And of course, the rivalry between the Raiders and 49ers. We start the second quarter, Latavius Murray, and here comes a flag. False start, offense number 45. Five yard penalty, first down. The call on Marcel Reese. The rookie Derek Carr has been very careful, sacked only 15 times. And people remember David Carr, his brother, who was brought into the league and sacked Thank repeatedly. He's almost, according to the coaching staff, gotten rid of the ball too quickly at times, which you don't hear very often. What in What's up? On first and 15, Murray. Knocked down. Well, it's because he's overly cautious. You know, he's got Still a good relationship with his brother. Oh, here's the rivalry. Okay. Saw the personal foul earlier. No love lost. But getting back to David Carr and your, your mention, you know, offensive coordinator Greg Olson told us that, yes, he has some things to learn as a, as a quarterback. This is what we saw moments ago. Continue on car. Get to him after get back to him after the snap. They have a timeout. First charge timeout. Oakland. We'll talk more about the future of the Raiders quarterback Derek Carr in a moment. This game on Fox is sponsored by the Volkswagen Sign and Drive event. By Citizen Echo Drive, powered by life. Any life never needs a battery. Citizen. And by Merrill Edge, it's investing streamlined. A look at downtown Oakland here at the Coliseum. Derek Carr, the rookie quarterback, already holds Raider rookie records in passing yards and touchdowns. Today, he's four out of six, facing a second and 12 near midfield. McFadden at a running back. Murray has carried. 
much of this quarter as well, and that is Reese who goes straight ahead. Let me finish that thought on Derek Carr before we went to the break there. You know, the one thing that having a brother that played in this league, and you mentioned how many sacks that he took when he was in Houston, you know, he told him, you need to be protection sound. And if there's one thing that this young kid does well is understand protections. Now, Greg Olson, the offensive coordinator, says that's all well and good, but he has to learn to not get rid of the ball quick when there's pressure there. He's such a good athlete, but he's got a long way to go still before he gets to that elite level. On third and nine from the pocket, shows off the arm and hits for the first down. Vincent Brown. Well, he must have been listening to Greg Olson last night because he stood there solidly in that pocket to deliver this ball. The protection was there, and this is what people love about him. He's got a real strong live arm. He delivers strikes to his receivers when they're open. That was a nice executed throw and catch there. There is Greg Olson, the fine offensive coordinator. He had a 20-yard completion of the rookie records that Carr broke, that of Tom Flores back in 1960. The team mark, and of course, Tom Flores, part of the radio broadcast team. There he is with Greg Popman and Jim Plunkett. 180! What's up? Extra lineman in. Murray on first down. Tackle made by Chris Borland. So Carr drafted in the second round, 36th overall. His brother David, who's 12 years older, remember the number one overall pick by the Texans back in 2002. But even Tony Sperano said he was amazed how mature and professional he was right away. You could see it in training camps. Sperano working with the offensive line first and then taking over as head coach. We've met him one time, and we came away with that exact impression of him, Chris. It's, it's impressive. Fakes, fires, and complete. That's Rivera. Love the way they're calling this game right now for this kid. There's purpose in the play calling. You see the play fake trying to draw up the underneath coverage of the 49ers, and then he just delivers a strike there again to Michael Rivera. I'm telling you, Chris, this, this arm, he gets some talent around this kid. This could be a, a, the emergence of something good back in Oakland. Finally, a young quarterback to build around. Bryce Butler checks in at receiver after a pickup of 19. First and goal, Raiders. Murray, the running back. Carr floats it for the end zone. There's contact. Incomplete, Chris Culliver working on Butler, who had just checked in, and no flag. Good no flag there. No indication by Culliver here to or no uh, action by Culliver to prevent him from going up and making that catch but the ball was delivered perfectly Bryce Butler had it in his hands that could have been a really nice catch for a touchdown one of the angular receivers at 6-3 Holmes is 6-4 one of the big targets 180 watch up Murray with an extra lineman in trying to find the end zone knocked down inside the five for all their struggles, Chris, on offense for the Raiders, one place where they've been good, and it statistics can say a lot for you, but they've been excellent in the red zone. They're number one in the league. We'll see what Greg Olson has dialed up, and if Vic Fangio... We have an injured player. That is Chris Culliver. Excuse me, Ron, there, the Yeah, corner. I didn't see the injury go down there. But he looks like he's riding in pain there. He's kicking his legs for somebody to get him. While they take care of Chris Culliver, we will step aside. Chris Culliver with what looks like a lower leg injury helped to the 49ers sideline. You'll see if he pauses right here. Watch his left knee right there. Just get bent up under the the running back, Latavius Murray there. And he, you'll see him. He gets up. You can tell it's hurt. And, oh, it's unfortunate. They're very thin at quarterback, cornerback position, Chris. Tremaine Brock inactive today. Carlos Rogers, Chris Cook, players that they have not been able to use during the course of the year. Now third and goal. And Dante Jackson, the rookie, is in at one corner with Paris Cox the other. What are they? What's up? Carr throws low, but in the end zone. Matt McCants make that Donald Penn the extra lineman with a touchdown catch. Donald Penn starting left tackle for the Oakland Raiders and 
I said they were number one in the red zone. Well, if you got 290 or 300 pound offensive tackles catching balls, you know you've got some creativity down there. They've been using an extra lineman this entire drive. This is tackle eligible play. You see Donald Penn right there, and I happened to play with Donald Penn in Tampa for a number of years. I think this might be his third or fourth touchdown of his career because he caught a couple. This is his third touchdown of his career because he caught a couple with me when I was in Tampa. It's actually a nice catch. He went down low to get that thing. Orange timeout. San Francisco. 49ers, Jim Harbaugh calls time. And for Derek Carr, I think he's talking to Terry McCauley about tackle eligible. Did he report? Did the team report it? You can see him giving up on that argument very quickly. Not something reviewable, but a used timeout for Jim Harbaugh. The 15th touchdown pass of the season for rookie Derek Carr and leads the all NFL quarterbacks in that department coming into the game. It was a low pass to Penn. But he went down and got it. And the extra point by Janikowski gives the Raiders a three-point lead. Donald Penn, long-time Buccaneer, left tackle. Goes down and gets it. And all 335 pounds. Into the end zone and more. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Cialis. Raiders kicking off after the touchdown toss to Donald Penn. Bruce Sellington slips up past the 25 and gets a... At the 30-yard line, a strong return for the 49ers. We saw Jim Harbaugh arguing about the tackle eligible play. Let's bring in our rules analyst, Mike Pereira. Mike, clarify for us, because during that drive, Matt McCants was an extra lineman that was reporting, but the touchdown pass went to left tackle Donald Penn. And, of course, you can have, you could report multiple guys as long as you report them every play. And I think... Jim was satisfied with the explanation he got that both sides, both tackles had reported. Yeah, stay with us because I want to know when you report, is it just to the sideline, each sideline that has to be informed? On first out, Carlos Hyde gets the carry for the 49ers, brought down right away. So, uh, Mike, explain who gets reported to so that both sidelines are well aware in the officiating crew. Here's the issue. What they must do is come directly to the referee, and the re they report to the referee who on non-scrimmage kick plays makes the announcement over the PA system that he has. So he reports the tackles as eligible, or reports the 70 numbers as eligible. All right, and that was the explanation we can assume that was given to Jim Harbaugh, who used a timeout to discuss that. Each team with two remaining here in the first half. Thank you, Mike Pereira. Kaepernick. Floats one for Crabtree, contact, and here comes the flag. Former 49er Terrell Brown running with him. Well, the flag came out as if it was pass interference on Terrell Brown, but the only thing they can give him, in my view, is that his head didn't come pass around. Pass interference, defense number 23, automatic first down. in great position here Chris he just doesn't look for the ball or he attempts to look for the ball in the wrong it, it's too late really it's a ticky tack foul to me I, I, to me it was good coverage he was in not affecting oh. Crabtree's ability to Get catch you. that ball nonetheless first down a 21 yard penalty what? on the Raiders side of the field Kaepernick throws here comes another flag. He was trying to go to Crabtree again. Hayden covering him this time. He's going to get holding out there on DJ Hayden. And this one, this one. Prior to the pass, holding. Defense number 25. Five-yard penalty. Automatic first down. All right, finish. This one was a good call. DJ Hayden here, man-to-man -man coverage. Bump at the line of scrimmage. As he gets to the top of his route, look at just a handful of jersey. Restriction from coming back to the football. Easy call there, pass for holding on, on D.J. Hayden. Defensive coordinator Jason Tarver with the eye black, even though there's no sun he's out here. It, man. He's into it. So the, the foul moves the ball up to the 42, but a first down 
for San Francisco. Kaepernick to Gore. And Frank Gore pounding the middle of that Raider defense. San Francisco's all-time leading rusher, the franchise leading rusher, at age 31. And again, his career low average coming in under four yards a carry with another player down on the field. It's a member of the Raiders. Larry Asante, backup safety, being tended to here in Oakland. Reserve safety Larry Asante being checked on the Raiders' sideline. That's the knee area. So Brandon Ross, who had the interception in the opening quarter of Kaepernick and Woodson, the safeties. Carlos Hyde, the back for Kaepernick on second and six. Kaepernick has it. Advance the rush, throws on the run for the end zone. Out of bounds, Aquan Bolden. Into this play now, this was a heck of a toss here by Colin Kaepernick, and that left foot is just out of bounds. Anquan Bolden, I tell you, Chris, he's been doing this a long time. He's as savvy as they come. If he's definitely out of bounds there, but if he would have got that left foot in, that would have been a spectacular catch. Almost his fifth touchdown grab of the season when he has had a big game. The 49ers have won this year. Now third and six. That's Bolden in motion. And a timeout. It was clearly called before by Kaepernick. San Francisco will have one remaining. A ball ball ball. Down. Terry McCauley is saying you didn't call the timeout before the delay. And that's what our boys arguing. That's the second delay a game penalty on Colin Kaepernick in this offense. We talked earlier about how Oakland is trying to confuse his looks, give him a bunch of stuff that he's not familiar with seeing, and he hasn't been able to diagnose it yet. And he's frustrated because, well, they still have two timeouts, but he didn't want to lose the yardage there. He's trying to call time before the delay of game. Now they're third and 11. throw catch made that's crap free but it's going to be fourth down Bill Dawson may come on to try a lengthy field goal here his season long is 55 his career long 56 this will be 54 to try and tie the game There's a flag down. The kick is good. Holding offense number 88. Two more penalty. Fourth down. Garrett Selleck called for holding. It'll take the points off the board, and that will change things. So Andy Lee and the punting unit coming up. Watch number 23, Terrell Brown, will be coming into your screen over here on the left side. And Selleck just grabs him and slings him to the ground. Some of that's acting, playing. You give your body some contortions, and he can't help but throw the flag. And that was a big penalty for San Francisco there, obviously, Chris, on the made field goal. Yeah, and now so they punt. Oakland maintains the three-point lead at the moment. T.J. Carey standing back at the 10. Goes down right away. L.J. McRae with a spectacular special teams tackle. Raiders lead it by three, and they have the football. Worth taking a look back on that timeout the 49ers thought they had. Here you go, Ron. Do you see the play clock before the delay of game? Yeah, it's close. It's Wait, close. It hurt them, certainly. Watch it! Field goal. Holding penalty hurt as well. As Murray carries for the Raiders getting up to the 15-yard line. It's been kind of a kind of a herky-jerky game so far as Latavius Murray 
led the Raiders to their only win of the season when he lit up Kansas City with touchdown runs of 90 and 11 yards. Then on his fourth carry, he had a concussion with a helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit and then did not play in that lopsided loss in St. Louis. His 90-yard run, the longest in the NFL this season, fourth longest in Raider history on that list. Bo Jackson, who's in the building, a couple of 90-yard-plus touchdown runs in silver and black for the L.A. Raiders. Easy, easy, easy. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Carr on second and six. Floats one in the traffic. And incomplete. Andre Holmes the target, but two 49ers were with him. Two, maybe three 49ers <laughs> were with him on that. We got away with one there. Secondary wasn't looking back on that play. That could have been a, been a bad play. But you talked about Latavius Murray there. I think I, as I look at him and what Darren McFadden hasn't been able to do this year, he might be looking at the future of running back here in Oakland and mix that with David Carr. Starting to build a nucleus. Third and six from the pocket complete for a first down to Michael Rivera, who won't go down. Looked like a little confusion in the 49ers secondary pre-snap. Definitely some confusion there, but what I'm most impressed about is Derek Carr staying in this pocket, buying some time. Because obviously, there's no pressure on him. Look how comfortable he is standing in this pocket. We've seen him on film this year want to get out, want to get to his check down, but watch him stand there. Just wait for Michael Rivera to come over and deliver a strike for another first down. Gain of 18, Murray the back. 180! Watch up! And Murray works hard to get across the 39-yard line. He's got a game break. Check in on Arizona and KC with Joel Flack. Well, Chris, Arizona might not be leading the NFC West for long. Jamal Charles. 18-yard TD catch. Alex Smith and 14-6. The Cardinals are down in this one. Thanks to all the Seahawks tied with the Eagles in the second quarter. Watch it! 49ers trail here as Murray carries. Short of the first down. It'll bring up third and about a yard or two in the NFC West. The 49ers third in the division, but they do. They have Oakland and San Diego, but they do play Arizona and, and Seattle. Teams that they're looking up at in the NFC West. It's going to be interesting last month, that's for sure, Chris. Arizona's, see, we've had them a couple of times this year, seething a little bit as the season's coming to an end without their quarterback. Let's see if they can hold on to that lead in the West. Murray and an excellent defensive play. Borland and Wilhoy. And it's worth mentioning, we mentioned Ahmad Brooks did not start. Aaron Lynch did. We've seen Dan Scuda out there. The report that Brooks missed a team meeting and his on the sideline for San Francisco, but has not been active, at least in this game so far. On fourth down, 49er defense does its job. Bruce Ellington back to receive the punt. Of Marquette King. Just over five minutes to go. Sun peeking through here in Oakland. A high kick. Fair catch. Let it go. Inside the five. The Raiders down it in a hurry. Chimney Chukwan. 49er offense takes over after the San Francisco defense did its job. Tonight on Fox, don't miss an inspiring social feature on Tiger Woods and also the holidays just around the corner. A very merry Sunday for brand new Christmas episodes that will fill you with cheer. Tonight on Fox, Colin Kaepernick with a touchdown pass to Bruce Miller. David Carr with a touchdown pass to Donald Penn, his left tackle. And a field goal by Janikowski, that's the ball game. Some of those Raiders pictures don't look very cheerful, Chris. They're backed up. Well, the 49ers <laughs> offense backed up in the black hole. They try to make it as uncomfortable as they can for the visiting team, even if you're a, a neighbor in the Bay Area. Frank Gore. Awkward-looking snap exchange there, but Gore goes forward. 
It's only the fifth carry today for Frank Gore, but he is averaging six yards a touch here on the ground. In, in these backed up situations, you got to expect give some power plays some power run game to Frank Gore safe. Colin Kaepernick hasn't been completely on in the passing game today. This pistol formation used to be big popular formation for him, but as he goes back under center, we'll see what play comes up here. Kaepernick from his goal line gets away and then goes down at the five. The swarm of Raiders eventually, Antonio Smith. Seal Moore put the pressure on. And we have a Raider still down on the field. Seal Moore comes through the block there, Marcus Martin. And then Smith just hustling to the ball, gets a cleanup sack on Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> okay. All right, he didn't want to leave the seat of the, uh, of the incident, but now it's third and ten, the Raider defense. If they get the stop here, should give the offense excellent field position. Kaepernick, six out of nine, and drops. It was right at the first down marker. The veteran, Anquan Bolden, couldn't hold it. Well, that's the guy you want to get this ball to in this situation, and... Anquan Bolden not having the same year that you'd expect out of him as he has in years past. And there's been some rumblings, too, about him. Drops. And Colin Kaepernick delivered a good ball there and puts him in a backed-up punting situation. Now, one of the interesting things about where they're punting from, the, the depth of the punter is affected. It's inside the five-yard line. He's going to have to get this ball out quick and see if the Raiders decide to rush him. And the lead gets it out of there. T.J. Carey in 49er territory down at the 47-yard line. Let's check in on an injury down on the field with Jennifer. Well, Chris, Chris Culliver is back in the 49er locker room right now being evaluated for a knee. He is questionable to return. Meanwhile, that's the official status of Larry Asante over here on the Raiders' sideline as well. But I tell you, he's fighting to get back in this thing. He's been in and out of the locker room, on and off the training bike, pounding on his quad, trying to get it loosened up. Chris, he does not want to come out today. Thank you, Jen, as the Raiders take over. First and ten, just over three minutes and two timeouts at the 47. Latavius Murray at the back. What is What's it? Extra lineman is Matt McCants. And Carr on the move has to dump it to Murray. He makes the catch at the 42. Good example there, Chris, of why this kid, Derek Carr, doesn't take many sacks. Look, you just mentioned my, Matt McCants, who was lined up over there on Alden Smith, and he was beat immediately. But Derek Carr is so subtly subtle getting out of the pocket was able to get that ball out to the flat and he is so smart he does not use the playlist on his wrist and he doesn't want to do that he likes to hear the call come into the helmet process it himself believe it deliver it to the team with confidence what is it what's it second and five murray goes down beyond the 45 ray mcdonald first time we called his name today it'll bring up third down well, this Niners defense is very strong up front. There he is right there. Their DNs, Ray McDonald, Justin Smith, are about as good as anybody in football. Mix them with those outside linebackers they got. And this is why this unit is fourth in the in the in the league in yards. Leon McFadden in on the defensive secondary. On third and nine. Ball start. Offense number four. Five yard penalty. Third down. That's that call where the quarterback, they say, is, and of course, as a rookie, you can't bob the head or do certain things, motion that would create the defense to jump as we near the two minute warning here. Watch him get a little aggressive here as he's barking out in his hands and stepping forward. Peyton Manning would get away with that until they adjusted the rule. <laughs> But he's paid Manning. He probably is, still gets away with it. <laughs> this is Derek Carr, and the Raiders have the lead at the two-minute warning. 
follow your favorite team all season long, go to iTunes.com slash NFL. Rondé Barber, Chris Myers, our crew, director Michael Frank, producer Mike Burks. Glad you're watching the NFL on Fox from the Bay Area on third and 14. from the 49ers pass completed to James Jones who can't slip away at midfield and it'll be fourth down timeout quickly called 49ers they will have one remaining it was one of those instances Chris where you know a young quarterback sees the pressure coming Greg Olson office coordinator Greg Olson gives him full autonomy to check into whatever play that he wants and on a third and 14 he checks to a short pass and that's exactly what 49ers defense wanted him to do and all he had to do was come up and make a quick tackle and get them off on third down there Greg Olson was also the offensive coordinator in Tampa when Donald Penn the tackle was able to be on the receiving end of touchdown passes and he was here David Carr completing that to give Oakland its only touchdown and there is Donald Penn, the former Buccaneer. Marquette King ready to boot it. 49ers will have one timeout. Under two minutes here. They had a field goal, wiped off the board on a holding penalty, otherwise we'd be tied. Donaldson lets it go, and it's down again at the nine. Good punt. Our view from the Coliseum here. The Raiders have hung in there considering they are coming off their worst beating of the season as they were shocked and stunned by the Rams in St. Louis and, of course, the 49ers that Thanksgiving Day embarrassment and the loss to Seattle. Well, we haven't seen much offense, Chris, from this 49ers offense. Again, struggled last week, obviously. We know that in the big blowout loss. But so far this ga game, haven't seen them get the ball down the field. Even Colin Kaepernick struggled. They had some success running early. But so far, it's been more of the same for this 49ers offense. Kaepernick completes to Bolden, who slips one tackle, gets a first down up near the 25-yard line. Well, that's a good positive start for him here on this two-minute drive. And Colin Kaepernick in a two-minute situation, I think, is more comfortable because he can get the ball out of his hands quickly. It's fast-paced. See if he can get this thing down the field and then field goal range before the half. That's Vernon Davis with his second catch. The only touchdown for the 49ers, the only score, Bruce Miller, the fullback, his first touchdown of this year. On a delayed call from the officials when he worked his way down the sideline on the pass from Kaepernick. Kaepernick splits the rush. He's loose up to the 45. It's a first down. A 17-yard run from Colin Kaepernick. He dropped back and there was nothing going in the passing game and we know he can do this there's a late flag down over on the 49ers side of the field around the 40. unsportsmanlike conduct in the offense player contact with the game official in the, in the white the foul occurred after the play will be first and 10 after a 15-yard penalty terry mccauley did not give the player's number but we will try and find the contact with the official it's an automatic penalty and said that it was after the play this happens all the time Chris and players start wanting to walk onto the field and see that the action on the field and that ref 95 there is backing up trying to get in position to see the play and he just runs into somebody that was James Coleman that back judge who got affected by somebody on the 49er sideline. Wipes out field position for Kaepernick and the 49er offense for Bolden. What a grab at midfield and he's fired up. And looks like Terrell Brown is down for the Raiders. Yeah, Terrell Brown is 
coming over from his right corner spot. A former 49er, seven years in San Francisco before coming to the Raiders, said he was thankful for his years but would not trade his spot here in Oakland for anything and anxious to play in this game in pain here after the catch by Bolden. Well, he challenged this throw. Heck of a catch by Bolden. And you'll see him coming into your screen here. Number 23 there and Watch his right leg as he comes down on the ground. He just, oh, oh. Turned his ankle, but looks like he's getting up and, and walking off the field. You know, these type of things, you get in, the, get in the air and your body's falling all over the place. And it's good to see him walking off the field. That looked like it could have been something serious. Nico Thorpe inactive today with a hand injury in that secondary so see where the Raiders go Chimdi Chekwa also available first down catch Chekwa 35 comes in to play in the secondary Kaepernick throws on the run and incomplete Vernon Davis wasn't ready or looking in that area Let's look at that play where the official called contact in the penalty against the 49ers. You'll see him come in the frame here at the top of the screen. He's up here, way up there, upper left corner. Trips over the player. And, you know, from our view, we can't see who the player was. He wasn't, yeah, they didn't give us a number, but you're supposed to be back, back off that line. That line. Right, yeah. There's often, actually a yellow line behind there that they should be behind. But see coaches often say, get back. Kaepernick. And incomplete for Stevie Johnson. Colin Kaepernick's done a good job on this drive, creating some offense by himself. You know, getting him out of the pocket and moving is where he's dangerous. Stevie Johnson had a chance to make a big catch there. And can't come down with it. Kaepernick is much more comfortable throwing on the run, on the move, as you said, out of the pocket. But the Raider rush has been on. They've been able to put pressure. He's 9 out of 50, just over 100 yards with a touchdown and a pick. 17 seconds remaining on third down and 10. From the pocket, straight ahead, Kaepernick. Inside the 35 and goes down. The clock ticking at a timeout quickly used. San Francisco's last. Well, that's how he extend plays, and Oakland told us that this is the one thing that Colin Kaepernick you have to be worried about him when he can extend plays and create offense this way then he is very dangerous a 17 yard run let's check in with kurt menifee see what's coming up at the half ahead on the visa halftime i'll get together with my little buddies to discuss the browns coming up short against the colts the steelers and ravens coming up big and the titans fall to the giants our giants of football analysis will be back Break it all down with the hat. Hey guys, I was trying to think of something cute to say about right. that. I don't even know what to say. They have so much fun on that pregame <laughs> show and halftime and the OT with all the highlights and scores following the NFL action here on Fox. Remember, Phil Dawson made a field goal of 54, but wiped out because of a holding penalty. Then they had to punt. Right now, you're looking at about a 52-yard try if they get nothing. But no timeouts for the 49ers. <laughs> Kaepernick throws, crack three out of bounds. Six seconds remain here. And here comes Phil Dawson. Season long, that's in the books, 55. He's made 21 out of 25 across the board. Career long is 56. This one spotted at the 52 to tie the game. Lee, the punter, his holder. We got a timeout call. The final charge timeout, Oakland. The touchdowns in this game. Coming from each of the quarterbacks on short passes and a Janikowski field goal. It was an early interception by Kaepernick that led to the field goal, but then Bruce Miller, the fullback, works down the sideline for the touchdown, his first of the year, and then the tackle eligible play. Donald Penn from Derek Carr. 
Guys that do all the dirty work, right? Your fullback, usually a blocker. Your left tackle, always a blocker. Nice to see them rewarded. In not, first half, yeah. yeah, not the most likely players you think would be in the end zone. Nailed it. Phil Dawson right down the middle. With one second remaining. 49ers trying to win their eighth game of the year. Still in the playoff hunt. The Raiders coming off their worst beating after having maybe their best game when they beat Kansas City. Before that. And we're tied at 10. We knew this was going to be a gritty game. We can talk rivalry all you want. I don't even think that it's about that. I think it's Raiders looking for an identity and trying to find something that they can take into the offseason as positive and they've given up a, given a good fight today Chris so far and Colin Kaepernick is running in that recent drive three rushes for 26 yards and he's nine out of 16 over 100 yards passing but he's also as you said had to avoid the rush quite a bit and the subplot to this story of course two teams that their head coaches may be on the move after this season Something we will address in the second half with Jim Harbaugh, who has a year to go on his contract in San Francisco. And, of course, Tony Sperano filling, stepping in as the head coach when Dennis Allen was let go. A dribbler to midfield that will bring an end to the first half of the 13th regular season meeting between these Bay Area rivals. The Raiders will get the ball to start the second half, tied with the 49ers at 10. Let's head to Los Angeles for the Visa Halftime Report. Today's excitement here as we begin the third quarter, tied at 10, brought to you by Nissan. Despite the records, an exciting first half with Kaepernick running and throwing. And Derek Carr tossing a touchdown, 10 out of 14 so far for the rookie quarterback. Leads the NFL in rookie quarterback touchdown passes this year as we get ready for the start of the second half. And well, let's talk about Kaepernick of the 49er offense, which has been under a lot of pressure to get them towards the playoff push. At least him running the ball got them going and back into a tie before the half. Well, that's the first time in a long time that I've seen him want to run with purpose, you know. But where that offense is struggling, Chris, is on first down. It's like they have no identity. You can't figure out what they're trying to do. And so Kaepernick's having to extend plays, do it on his own. That last drive and that two-minute, first time that we saw him do it with a purpose in a long, long time. But they're going to have to establish an identity, Chris, on, on that side of the ball. It hasn't shown itself today. And if they don't, they won't win. In this football game but they have hung in there it's been a herky jerky first half with some unusual calls some strange penalties still did not get a number on the 49er player on the sideline contact with official we believe it was tank Carradine number 95 but nothing official listed as the second half underway and the Raiders will have a chance TJ Carey to return and here comes a flag late as he stopped short of the 15 yard line During the return, holding, receiving team number 39. After this to the goal, first down. That is now the seventh penalty accepted on the Raiders in this game. Four have been accepted against the 49ers. And for Derek Carr, you saw his numbers. He has protected the football. And after the initial start from Darren McFadden, Latavius Murray, he had 14 carries in the first 12 games of this season. He has 12 today. 180! What's up? Carr to throw. Tipped away and a second try. Cox had it at interception. Bryce Butler was the target. There's Cox. Almost stolen interception here. If he could have got his head back after this deflection there just right in the head bang a little embarrassing but whatever have not nice defended play have not seen either one of these quarterbacks run they have a lot of success throwing the ball deep 
But a gutsy call on first down. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Murray. And let's check in with Jennifer Hale. Chris, you and Rondé, we're talking about the chippiness in this game. You know, both teams enter their locker rooms using the same tunnel. So whether it's the rivalry or the tie score, I can tell you there were some words exchanged on the way in this afternoon. Meanwhile, Tony Sperano tells me this half, look for a lot more Latavius Murray. They want to unleash him and see what he can do. He believes the key to this next half is containing Kaepernick in the pocket, Chris. Murray in the backfield here on third down and seven. If the Niners get a stop, it'll force the Raiders to punt out of their own ends and all day for Carr. Throws and caught! Oh, that's Murray! Here comes the flag. We might get a push off here. Think that ball may have come out at the end. Borland has it. Pass interference. Offense number 28. Half business to the goal. Third down. Well, this is the right call, Chris. You, if Derek Carr does another good job, in my opinion, in standing this play, standing in the pocket, waiting for somebody down the field, and then he gets it out to Latavius Murray, who's covered by, by Borland over there. And to get open, he definitely extended his arms to create some separation. Wipes out a big game. Maurice Jones-Drew checks in, seldom used, the former Jacksonville Jag, who's from Antioch, California. In his first year here with this Raider team. Carr firing and completing to Jones. Stops short of the 15-yard line. Marquette King will come in to punt. And the 49ers should be set up with excellent field position. That's what he's done today, Bruce Ellington. Who has missed some time. 49ers happy to have him back. Standing inside the 45. And San Francisco. Let's see if the 49ers bring pressure on King. He gets it away. Spins out of there. No flag as King went down. Wellington with a move. And what a move. Carrying a Raider all the way to midfield. Marcel Reese brought him down. 49ers take over on offense. He was sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Book your low fare now at southwest.com. By Nissan, innovation that excites. By Burger King, mix and match two large premium sandwiches for just $5 only at Burger King. And by Walmart, where you'll find unbeatable prices on this year's top gifts. A look at Alcatraz. And here in Oakland, the lease expires for the Raiders at the Coliseum. Rumors about Los Angeles surfacing again. 20 years since the Raiders played. Called L.A. home. Dallas, Dallas! From the 46 of Oakland, Frank Gore. Still powering down to the 37, inside the 37-yard line. Near a first down, just a yard or two short. And for Kaepernick, by the way, 64 yards rushing in a game is as high this year. He had 26 yards running in the first half. Well, that's what I want to see right there from the 49ers on offense. Come out on first down, run a power, give it to Frank Gore, get positive yards and stay ahead of the sticks. They haven't done it all day. They started that way. They've kind of gotten away from it. Now you're in a second short situation. Your playbook is wide open right now. Carlos Hyde checks five, five, in. Yeah, five, five. Kaepernick's throw is complete. That's Crabtree with the first down, going out of bounds. Colin Kaepernick, this is his second appearance in this building here at the Coliseum in Oakland. His very first, he's 27 years old, of course, but he was in the punt, pass, and kick contest. As a youngster growing up in Turlock, California. Didn't say much about it during the week. <laughs> Didn't say much about anything during the week. Frank Gore. And that's the Frank Gore of the 49ers. And Rondé Barber want to see down to the 20-yard line. 
You talked to him before the game. Well, you're looking for an identity on offense. They haven't had one in so many weeks now. I don't understand why you don't turn around and hand the ball to Frank Gore. He's done it better than almost anybody in the league the past couple of years, their entire career, really, here. Obviously, he's older, he's aged. They have a, another guy in, in high that can carry the load, but for my money, I want to see him run power all day long. On first and 10 inside the 20. Vernon Davis has not been targeted in the red zone since week one in Dallas when he had a couple of touchdowns. Goes past to Crabtree. Fights to get inside the 12-yard line. Vernon Davis with two catches in the first half for the 49ers. Well, you see that the plan on offense now is as Frank Gore checks back into the game. Run it on first down. Give yourself something manageable on second down. You can do whatever you want. I talk about opening the playbook because you can take a shot, you can run the ball, you can do whatever you want. First time all day that they've gotten into what they want to say is a rhythm. Frank Gore straight ahead. He holds the 49er career rushing records across the board as he got the first down there. Coming in with over 10,700 yards, 62 touchdowns. Greg Roman, offensive coordinator who's come under some criticism and fire here. People said that they simplify the offense or scale back with a number of lineup changes and injuries. 37 100-yard games for Frank Gore. Kill, kill, kill! On first and goal. Dallas! Gore. Down right away. Oakland said, forget about all that. We're going to bring pressure. You know you're going to run Frank Gore on first down. See if he can deal with seven guys entering into the box. And talking about the 49ers, they struggle in the red zone, Chris. Touchdown conversion, 40% is last. And you can see it. We talk stats can say a lot of things, but this one is very true. You get down here and you don't score touchdowns, it puts you behind in games. And we'll see. They can Nix that stat here on this drive. Frank Gore only two rushing touchdowns this season. Second and goal. Kaepernick high through the end zone. This used to be an area where all 49er fans know is 85 used to show up all the time. First, second, third down, it didn't matter. He was the main target. Hasn't been targeted in the red zone since week one. And Chris, you mentioned that. If I'm Greg Roman or Colin Kaepernick parking out this play right here, I'm saying, where is my big number 85? Time for him to show up. Three receivers to the left. Bottom part of your screen. Kaepernick on the move. Flips, Hyde has the football, and does not get him. Brandon Ross did a nice job of meeting him up over there. And uh, again, fourth down, no hesitation here. They're going to bring out the kicker again. We obviously they're going to come away with points or get a field goal opportunity here, but not converting in the red zone to touchdowns has been a problem for this team all year long and. Even when you have a quarterback that can extend, extend plays like Colin did there, you don't score touchdowns, it can come back to bite you. Just leave Oakland in this game. You clearly had a scoring opportunity there. Phil Dawson is two for two today. And the Raider defense digs in. And a little bit of the neighborly conversation continues. San Francisco, Oakland, head-to-head. -head. This Saturday, Joe Buck will be in Florida with Greg Norman to bring you the final round of the Franklin Templeton shootout. Some of the best golfers in the world competing over $3 million in the line. It starts Saturday, 1 Eastern on Fox, and always streaming live on Fox Sports Go. Some divots in this field. I am, uh, Chris, did you go out and hack some balls around there? <laughs> that's <laughs> about... But he's just from the cleats. <laughs> no, that's just from... The stars of this game work of the field here. Talked about the field being an issue. Seen some slips today. Hadn't been that much of a factor there. T.J. Carey up across the 20. 
It's been a little testy here, but see, people really can get along, no matter which side of the bay or field you're on. Today's game is sponsored by Verizon XLTE, on America's largest, most reliable 4G LTE network. Raiders starting out at the 20 with Darren McFadden, the running back. He gets the carry. And the 49ers are ready for him. 49er head coach Jim Harbaugh, the subject of many rumors about where he'll be coaching next. Remember, he was his Raiders coach back here in 2002 and 3. His first job as an NFL assistant. A year to go on his contract in San Francisco, and some saying the Raiders may be interested. They're going to have a head coaching opening vacancy here. What's up? On second and seven. Pass is caught by Andre Holmes. That was really nicely done by Derek Carr. I'm lauding him a lot today because. Unlike in games past, he's been getting rid of this ball in the flat, but watch him go through his progressions here, Chris. Watch, left, through the middle, nothing there. Go all the way to his third, maybe fourth read on the sideline there and deliver a nice ball to his wide receiver, and that's some maturity. You're seeing him grow up before your eyes. If you're an Oakland Raiders fan, definitely something to be excited about here. 12 out of 17, 118 yards, and a touchdown for Carr today. First down in 49er territory. Let's check in on the Seahawks with Joel Platt. Joel? Well, Chris, the Seahawks trying to chase down Arizona. San Francisco trying to keep pace with both of them. And Marshawn Lynch is going to get into the end zone to give them a 10-point lead. 17-7. Eagles just scoring, making it 17-14 as we speak. Pending the extra point, of course. Chris and Ronde. That's a, uh, an update, Joel, as close to an update as it's happening as you could get it. And the Arizona Cardinals are leading by three at home over Kansas City. McFadden knocked down at midfield. Michael Wilhoy, who takes in the defensive signals, doing the job. And I don't think we can say enough about the 49er defense this year. They had five projected starters from the beginning of the year, but out of the picture, people know about Bowman and, and Willis. And, how other players have stepped into Glenn Dorsey and done the job. Well, these two young linebackers, Will Hoyt, who just made a great play there in Borland, have been a key to that. You don't expect backup players to come in and be as productive as, as these two guys have, but they've gotten a lot of mileage out of some guys they didn't expect to. After a loss of one, Rivera can hold it. It's a tough catch, and the coverage is good, and there's a flag. Maybe two good. It's a tough situation there for for Chris Borland. Time to pass, holding, defense number 51. Five-yard penalty, automatic first down. Well, at least they called that uh, holding on Scooter. I was assuming with that hit that they were going to call, and I think that's what, that's what Jim Harbaugh was going to assume. This is going to be a personal foul. You see right of your screen right here on Michael Rivera. And yeah, as he comes inside, he grabs him. But watch Chris Borland. You know, that, that sometimes gets incorrectly called as a, as a hit on a defenseless receiver. I'm glad there was no penalty there. That was a clean shot. Gives the Raiders a first down at the 49er, 45. And Carr waving to his receiver. And he's open for a first down. And more inside the 20. It's Michael Rivera, who was the receiver moments ago, who uh, the flag was thrown on. You see Michael Rivera there at the end of the line of scrims. He goes a long way to make this reception. And the communication between him and his quarterback is, is excellent. And you want to see the difference between a Colin Kaepernick quarterback and a Derek Carr is right there. Not the urgency to get out of the pocket, but to move to throw the football. And well done by Derek Carr. 27-yard completion. McFadden carries straight ahead. The Raiders inside the red zone of San Francisco. Under five and a half to play here in the third quarter. This has been a nice drive by Oakland to answer that that score out, out that field goal try by or attempted successful <laughs> attempt by San Francisco. Derek Carr having to march all the way down the field. They haven't been good at this all year. Taking one from one end of the field, possessing it all the way down and going down for a score. This has been impressive when they've needed it. 
Murray checks it at running back on second and eight. What's it? Bar for Reese. He falls inside the 10. He's just short of the first down. It's efficient, very efficient day. And now we've said it, talked about his maturity. We met him in our, in our meeting, but even watching him on the field right now, he doesn't look much like a rookie, Chris. He's controlling this offense and the tempo exactly as you'd want a young quarterback to do, and they got to be happy with him. He needs a yard. So Reese had, he was the the workhorse on that drive, had five catches on it. And San Francisco doesn't pressure a lot. You see him sitting there in the back, but when you do pressure, one thing it does is gives a quarterback an immediate throw, and Derek Carr found the right receiver on that all-out blitz and gassed him for a touchdown. His first touchdown of this season. Second touchdown pass of the game for that guy who pointed his receivers in the right direction. And the black hole is buzzing. It's been a hot topic. Other places have interest in Jim Harbaugh. Unlikely he'll be back in San Francisco after this season. That's just what you hear as Ellington brings it out for the 49ers and an excellent return up near the 30 yard line. And prior to the game, saying hi to an old family friend, Mark Davis, owner of this Raider team, Jim Harbaugh, saying hello. Still more of that Raider defense working the crowd here after the Raiders took the lead. Frank Gore on first down from the 30 with Kaepernick. Going short for Bolden. There are so many different things going on here. The fans want the Raiders to stay in Oakland. The lease expires. They could move to Los Angeles. Some fans want Jim Harbaugh to come from San Francisco and come to coach the Raiders after this year. Some fans want John Gruden. Yeah, back. you're being nice. We should start it. Why don't you just open it up, man? Just say who, who, who everybody, everybody available, come coach the Oakland Raiders. Your former coach, John Gruden, would he come back if Mark Davis, the owner, says, you're my guy? I won't say no to that. Gore, it'll be third and long. There's a palpable energy in this stadium right now, Chris. And I don't think it was just C.O. Moore dancing in the stands or dancing with the crowd before this, during that timeout. There's a momentum, that drive by... Derek Carr and that offense all the way down the field was energizing the defense. Two quick stops. You could feel it. And what a difference from the 52-0 loss at St. Louis. sitting there behind the line of scrimmage trying to discern what's going on in the Oakland secondary and third time early in the game right around halftime in two minute drive and now on a crucial third down we talked about this crowd get into it they're even more into it now hey Ricky Ricky need to get to the 40 for a first down Kaepernick short of that completes the pass to Bolden and it will be Fourth down. Big stop there by Oakland's defense. 
defense. But like I said, this crowd, you can feel it. All they need to do is get off the field on third down. Oakland has a chance. Get the ball back here, produce another drive, and then really put San Francisco in a hole. I can't say it enough. This offense just is not functioning. They talk about rhythm, but they just cannot find it, Chris. Only 13 points today. And there's just over two minutes remaining in the third. Andy Lee booms it out of there. And a break for the Raiders. It goes through the end zone out to the 20. And we've talked about the rivalry here. Just win, baby. Al Davis brought that. The very first meeting, 1970. John Madden, his first year as the Raider head coach. First between these two clubs. John Brody, the MVP that season of the NFL. A couple of touchdown passes. 49ers went on to win 38-7. to and You and I had a great time having lunch in Pleasanton with John Madden, the great Hall of Famer, who was here, who told us when he first took over the job, he was sitting with a couple of the owners, and they said, no matter what you do, you got to beat those rival 49ers. And he said, okay, and then it, went, it was a preseason game. Pre game. He said, that I can do. And he's done a whole lot more since. What's up? One of the great broadcasters and contributors to the NFL in the history of the game. Carr is on target again. Well, there's always an it game for a quarterback, isn't there, Chris, where you can go back and say, he has figured it out, and right now, if I'm an Oakland Raider fan, I am going to remember this game for Derek Carr delivering passes just like this, staying in the pocket, sure of himself, knowing that he's got the live arm to deliver a ball like this and pick up huge gains. He's done it all day. On the last drive, he was five out of five, including the touchdown pass when they marched 80 yards hey, to take the lead. That was good for 22 to home. 180! What's up? Murray. Interesting talking to David Carr yesterday, too. And we, you know, uh, head coach Tony Sperano told us, you know, we're trying to get a culture change. Well, you know who also wants a culture change is this quarterback. He said he goes and grabs the young guys. He goes and grabs his uh, Khalil Mack. He goes and grabs Gabe Jackson. The, T.J. Carey, all these young guys, he said, we're going to start the culture change. We're going to do it. And it, he got some great veterans on this team for sure. But the young guys are the future of this team. And we're seeing some of these emerging guys today. And whoever takes the Raiders' job next will have a terrific quarterback to build around. I said David. You know I meant Derek. David is his brother watching. <laughs> and a delay again. The land down. Offense. Five-yard penalty, second down. It means a lot to him. You can tell. Look at the intensity. He's trying to talk to his center was Nuski. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. The lay of game penalty was not what you wanted right there. They have some momentum. Now it's second and 13. It quieted the crowd. And again, this crowd, a lot of 49er fans here. Along with the Raider faithful. with a quick pass. That's Reese again. He has the touchdown catch that put Oakland ahead. And earlier, Donald Penn had a touchdown grab, and that'll bring an end to the third quarter, a quarter in which each offense has marched, but the Raiders get into the end zone. And in the Battle of the Bay, the Raiders, they have the lead, they have the football. You're watching the NFL on Fox from Oakland, California. Fox Wars! With Rodney Barber, Chris Myers, our NFL crew. They've been going at it here. The Raiders and 49ers. Just the fourth meeting in the regular season here in Oakland. The 13th overall. And Oakland facing a third and eight, leading by four to start the fourth quarter. Derek Carr gets rid of it. Wide open is Rivera. He's going to get inside the 49er 30-yard line. And Carr hung in the pocket to deliver that throw to his tight end. I'm glad you said it because I'm kind of getting sick of saying it. <laughs> He's impressing us all. And this underneath defense of the San Francisco 49ers, when they bring pressure, you see Bo Michael Rivera run right by Borland. Will Hoyt is up in the flat on the other side, and Derek Carr finds 
Michael Rivera for his fifth reception, and it seems like all of them have looked just like that. Reese, the leading receiver for the Raiders with six catches. Rivera Wins right man. behind him with One five. Why is it hot? Hot! Latavius Murray the carry. And the 49ers drop him right away. Chris Borland on the tackle. The 49ers came in seven and five, still in the playoff hunt, but Seattle ahead of them and leading Philadelphia in the third quarter by ten. And of course, in the top of the division, the Arizona Cardinals, who've come from behind now and lead by three in the fourth quarter at home against the Chiefs. Now the 49ers will play at Seattle and finish the regular season home against the Cardinals. I guess you could say, Chris, there was a steely determination from the 49ers this week. Well, talk about a four-game season. They got to win this one, and none of that matters. What's up? Hesitation from Carr, but then he delivers inside the 20. Goes Reese. Down to the 12. Derek Carr is carving up a very good 49er defense right now and he's doing it with patience in the pocket he's allowing his receivers to come up open and he's underneath zone coverages I, I keep saying impressive uh, but it's it's the truth we all are sitting here watching the same thing it is is as good as offense have I seen these guys been in a while over 240 yards passing 20 out of 25 had eight in a row at one point Rivera, down inside the six. I don't know if I'd want to play receiver for the Raiders right now. It's the Marcel Reese-Michael Rivera show going on. All this underneath passing for Derek Carr is, is there for him, and he's delivering some good balls. Another long, drawn-out drive. We saw the seventh play of the drive now for this offense, and, man, I'm telling you, Chris, it's going to be a huge score here. Now, 73, Matt McCants again comes in as the extra lineman, but down here, Donald Penn, remember the left tackle, caught a touchdown. What's up? Murray the carry. Tavius Murray, the hope was to get him 15 or 18 carries today, and that was his 15th, and good enough for a Raider first down. Jim Harbaugh's got to be thinking to himself right now that my defense just needs to stop here in the red zone and give us a chance to get a touchdown to tie this. Because if they go in here and score a touchdown, you got to put it on Colin Kaepernick in that right, offense set, that hasn't done very much today. And again, Carr, with only 11 interceptions, not likely to turn it over. And off Murray, and the 49ers are ready. His helmet's knocked off. Portland. Leading the way. We could talk about that kid almost every single play, couldn't we, Chris? Borland, you see him right here in the middle of your screen, playing one of those inside linebacker spots, and just he's always downhill. He's not he's not big, undersized. Nobody liked him coming out. The 49ers said, hey, this kid can play, man. His tape doesn't lie, and it hasn't lied for him since he's got that starting job for them. Drafted in the third round from Wisconsin. On second and goal. Derek Carr, and zone throw. Did he hold that? No. It was low for the tallest receiver, Andre Holmes, at 6'4". It's almost a great catch there, though, Chris. And Leon McFadden over there in man-to-man -man coverage. Derek Carr trying to put this on the outside back shoulder throw, and whew, he had it in there. And he just pulled it out there at the last second. That would have been a could have been a great catch. Remember, Chris Colliver injured in the first half and out for the remainder of this game. Presley McFadden in action. On third down, Carr throws, and he has touched down number three today. Michael Rivera got him down there and got him in I would say the Derek Carr Michael Rivera matchup is a marriage that you would love to watch for a long time here in Oakland and Rivera California guy from Valencia second-year player 
from Tennessee drafted in the sixth round. They said, well, he doesn't block really well, but he can, he can catch a whole lot. There were some worries that he was getting too many snaps because of some of the injuries at tight end. We just want to make sure that scoring plays must be confirmed. Ruled a touchdown on the field. Catch made, foot down, controls the ball. They'll take a closer look, but touchdown Raiders on the field. Today's game is sponsored by Lowe's. Lowe's never stop improving. Ruled a touchdown on the field. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. We looked at this. There's no question. Man to man. I love that they singled him up out there. And, and again, picking on Leon McFadden, who's in for Culliver, who got hurt. Already missing Brock. But Derek Carr, 11 completions in a row, then an incompletion, then this. Three for three in the red zone. Three touchdowns for the Raiders. The Raiders today, the upper hand, and now an 11-point lead getting ready to kick off. He saw the career-high number of catches for Rivera. And he's bringing it out. Here comes Bruce Ellington. And he gets back to the 20-yard line. We've talked about the tumultuous 11 days since Thanksgiving with Jim Harbaugh, and really all season long, surrounding his coaching future in San Francisco. Despite a year remaining on his contract, he told us in our production, he had a lighter moment. We started talking about his Raider days, and he met James Garner, the late James Garner, terrific actor who was a devoted Raider fan, showed us that autograph, of course, when Jim was playing in the NFL, Jim Harbaugh. And talked about some of his other people know that he's a big Judge Judy fan. But the Rockford Files, his favorite all-time show, and he loves blue bloods. Cam Edmund wrote about that when he quoted Commissioner Reagan, the great Tom Selleck, not Ronald Reagan, Commissioner Reagan from Blue Bloods. And the pass complete. Garrett Selleck with his first catch of the day for Kaepernick. Right now, the TV show that Harbaugh is interested in is this one. As the Raiders try to get their second win of the year, and Harbaugh tries to keep the 49ers in the playoff hunt. He's going to have to harness some of those outstanding characters that those actors played and translate it into his team. They need some toughness here. They're going to need some couple of drives from an offense that hasn't been very productive today so they can get it done here on this drive here. Kaepernick, incomplete for Bolden. New this season, stream live, local, Sunday afternoon games right on your smartphone with NFL Mobile. 49ers facing an 11-point deficit here with under 10 minutes to go. And this year, you talk about their offense, this is pretty much emblematic of the way, I mean, they scored 28 in the opener and 31 at St. Louis, but they haven't been putting up a lot of points. Definitely not in the last three weeks. Incomplete. What a hit on Stevie Johnson. Brandon Ross, who had the early interception. Well, this was a heck of a collision, but I'll tell you what, all you kids out there, people that love football, this is the way the NFL wants you to hit receivers. He is defenseless, but he doesn't hit him in a defenseless posture. You see him put his chest on him right there, leaves the head out of it and back. It was a nice break up there by the safety. Facing now a third and ten. And we have an injured Raider. Looks like Ross is the one slow giving up. Oh, he got a full brunt of that hit in his chest. And very easy to believe that he got the wind knocked out of him there. Today's game is sponsored by the new Samsung Galaxy Note 4. The next big thing is here. Port of Oakland and here in the Coliseum, third and ten for Kaepernick and the 49ers. Kaepernick cannot get away. Khalil Mack. And there's a flag down in the secondary.
brutal contact defense. Five yard penalty. Automatic first down. All right. Well, we didn't get a number, but Larry Asante did come in at safety for Brandon Ross, who was injured. The flag was dropped. I don't know if it was on Asante. Maybe we'll have a better view. Left portion of the screen here. It's got to be somewhere in here. That's kind of where the flag came in, just past the five-yard mark. But come on. That T.J. Carey, maybe that's who the call was on. I hope not. Fresh set of downs for San Francisco. Brett Gore goes into Raider territory. Hitting the nine-minute mark here. And Derek Carr with three touchdown passes. His best is four in a game at Cleveland. Or I should say in a game at uh, San Diego. I'm sorry. His best yardage total came against Cleveland. Incomplete. Quentin Patton was the target. It's going to be third down and five. Raider defense has played tough today. The veteran Charles Woodson, Brandon Ross with the early interception. Him right away. I bet you he leaves the offense on the field right here. The Raiders coming up with a big stop on third down and just gets the sense with the way that Oakland moved the ball those last two times on offense that they have to convert here or this game is going to get out of reach. Watch for the dummy play call, too, trying to draw them offside. We'll see what we get. Fourth down pass to Kaepernick, and he connects with Crabtree with a clutch catch. The coverage was good, but the catch was even better. Well, this is a great conversion here. They were playing man-to-man -man coverage, and he had to stand in there and deliver a strike, and he did. Let's watch this ball. Coverage is there. T.J. Carey is all over him. Just a nice throw and catch. Needed that first down for San Francisco. High snap. Frank Gore gets down to the 32. Now it's a, still a two possession game for the 49ers, so there's a lot of ways they could play this. Of course, they want to get a touchdown. But if for some reason they have to settle for three, then you have a touchdown and a two point conversion. Any points on this drive will be good. Obviously, you got to worry about the clock at some point. Seven minutes left in this game, but scoring is paramount. Fighting to get near the first down marker. And it looks like they're going to give him that forward progress and move the chain. So he fought hard enough to get it. As the clock runs, six and a half and counting. Three straight championship games, a Super Bowl trip for the 49ers. Preseason Super Bowl favorites for some. Trailing here. Pass is caught. Crabtree goes down at the 25 right away. Might have been wise to get out of bounds there. Well, this is the Kaepernick that you would want to see during the course of the game, not just at the end of the game when they have to push the ball down the field. Now he's taking the easy completion taking what the defense has given him and seen two or three of these completions underneath. This is a rhythm. First time all day, he really can say he felt the rhythm from this offense.
to the 25. Kaepernick throws. Out of bounds. Crabtree was in the area. Going to be third down and eight. Get outside on that throw. Set up a third and long. But, man, this throw, I know he's trying to squeeze this into an, a tight area to Crabtree, but he missed this by a mile. He didn't give him a chance to make a play on that ball. the field goal unit we got an injured 49er on the ground too but Oakland hasn't been pressuring much you see Larry Asante down on the bottom gets the initial pressure clear to the quarterback but misses it but Smith is there Justin or Antonio Smith is there to clean up for a second sack of the day and it looks like that's Marcus Martin the center and they have had injury problems all season long, Joel Looney had been playing for Mike Upati, who had been injured earlier in the game. Just to add fuel to this rivalry, we still have 520 to go over the years with some great quarterbacks from the 49ers and the Raiders. And it was brought up here, the rookie Derek Carr, the 27-year-old Colin Kaepernick, who's been to a Super Bowl and a championship game. Carr has outplayed Kaepernick today. I'm taking the pride of Bakersfield right now, if, you, <laughs> if you're asking me. Colin Kaepernick has struggled for much of this game, but we've seen Derek Carr handle pressure. We've seen him stand in the pocket, do things that people say he hasn't done well all year. And that's find the, the receiver dying the field down the field and it's been impressive today what he's been able to do against a really good San Francisco Niners or 49ers defense Martin being helped off the field Anthony Davis remember remained out of this game with a concussion Jonathan Martin started in his place and the offensive line shuffling has had an effect on this 49er offense throughout the season now you're gonna try to make a 47 yard field goal and get to within eight Bill Dawson with Lee, the holder. He missed it. No good to the left. Looking more and more, Chris, like David Carr, the Oakland Raiders. They're going to come away with a victory in this rivalry. They need a drive now. That missed field goal. Wow. He was two for two, but a big miss. Phil Dawson leaves it at 11 point deficit. Raiders take over. Just over five minutes to play from their own 37. It's Murray carrying the football. Coming into the weekend, the worst offenses in the NFL in terms of scoring offensive touchdowns. Jacksonville fewest, then the Raiders, the 49ers. But those today's numbers, if we add them up, they are flip-flop. The Raiders scoring three touchdowns. Part of the reason San Francisco trailing by 11. But if you're a 49er fan, they have overcome. Remember, it was early in the game against St. Louis, down 14, but they won that. They were down 11 to the Eagles. And the 49ers rallied to win that. Their fans holding out hope here on second and nine. What's up? Murray. Wow. Up to the 44. Comes down to situational football, Chris. Four-minute defense. You hear a lot of teams talk about four-minute offense. And what you're trying to do is eat the clock. This Derek Carr, talk about what he's done today, but... His maturity level, he knows he's not going to snap this thing until the clock, the shot clock, or the play clock is at one. But four minute defense, you have to get off the field. You know they're running the football, and the 49ers are going to get in this game. They're going to need to stop here on third and three. Murray remains the back. A career high 19 carries 
Carr keeps and slides down and goes down. That was not designed that way. I'm not sure if he was just trying to get some clock. But you wouldn't want to go that far back. Yeah, he, he, you're sacrificing 10 yards in field position. Part of this rivalry, Bill Walsh, back in 1979, his first season as the 49er head coach and Kenny Stabler. The snake with a couple of touchdown passes, Branch and Mark Van Egan. The Raiders won that one 23 to 10. This is the 13th meeting overall in the regular season. Of course, they stopped playing in the preseason back in 2011, but split down the middle. Six each. The Raiders with an 11-point advantage now and three and a half to play. King back to punt. That was a very conservative play call there. We'll I thought so too, and Carr has had a tremendous second half. I think it's one thing to be safe, it's another thing to be too safe. The punt rolls out of bounds. Wednesday, two college basketball storied programs collide Kansas and Georgetown. Coverage 7 Eastern on Fox Sports 1, streaming live on Fox Sports Go. Ed Carr, excuse me, Derek Carr in the second half, 12 out of 14 with a couple of touchdowns and over 160 yards passing. <laughs> 49er fans hoping for a Montana-like rally from Kaepernick. Carlos Hyde is the running back. Goes down again. Khalil Makaga. Then the story of the day, Chris. They've been giving Colin Kaepernick fits. This defense started out quick with the turnover. The second play of the game. C.O. Moore through the line of scrimmage for a tackle for loss. It's been that way all day. They've put pressure on him here lately. He's taken some sacks. Fourth sack of the game for this Raider defense. Kaepernick on the run, being chased. Throw is incomplete for Crabtree. Joe Looney has had to come in to play center for Marcus Martin. You and got now, third and 15. Well, you got to figure 243, Chris. They're in four down territory here. I mean, you can't afford to punt the ball away here. So this is a, an enormous third down play for Colin Kaepernick in this offense and the prob problem he's had in crucial situation when the pressure's on he will not deliver the football he holds on to it makes bad decisions let's see if he can make a good one here for San Francisco and get them a manageable fourth, fourth down it's intercepted Charles Woodson the 17 year veteran who will head to the Hall of Fame, once he does hang it up, may have just sealed the fate of the 49ers. Maybe not in this game, but maybe even for this season. I'd love to give Charles a lot of credit for this, but this ball hit him right in the chest. This is a not a good throw. See Colin Kaepernick deliver this ball, trying to force it to Vernon Davis. It doesn't even look like it would have gotten there had Charles not intercepted it. You got to give credit though to number 24. He is, in my opinion, we had this discussion last yesterday, one of the best, if not the best, cornerback in the history of the NFL defensive backs. He's versatility. He's always coming up with big plays, and he comes up with a huge one right there for the Oakland Raiders. And that's high praise coming from you. You have Hall of Fame numbers when your time is up, and they will review a turnover all. Turnovers ruled an interception on the field must be confirmed, but that's a good souvenir for some loyal Raider fan Justin Tuck in the silver and black enjoying this The leaders of the NFC West the Arizona Cardinals win 17 14 their 10th victory of the season at the moment the number one seed in Seattle right behind them in the NFC West 10 point advantage after review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. The intercepting player got his arm under the ball and it did not touch the ground. First down, Oakland. 
a clear explanation and this is his third interception of this season for Charles Woodson the 59th in his amazing career you know you said I threw a lot of praise on him coming from me well I did a lot of good things I think in my career he far out distanced them with 50 plus interceptions 20 sacks not many guys have done that I only had 48 and he's got 20 sacks now this guy is unbelievable man and he was one of the veterans with Justin Tuck you mentioned the rookie Derek Carr by position quarterback the leader taking young players saying this is our team no matter what happens the rest of this year but Charles Woodson and Justin Tuck said we're not going to be we're not that team that got embarrassed in St. Louis so whether we're young or old whatever our record when the rivals come to town we're going to play good football and they did today well they've had a chance in a bunch of games to beat anybody they haven't had the consistency of course and now Mark Davis we have a timeout called by the 49ers the owner of this team of course the decision of getting a new stadium here or the move to Los Angeles and the, the lease is up after this season who will be the next head coach and there he is before the game you saw him saying hi to Jim Harbaugh who we have the impression will not be back in San Francisco John Gruden we know is on his list what would it take you hear numbers Maybe John Gruden would like to hear, you know, 10 million a year. That's something Jim Harbaugh may be looking for in his next contract, given his Good. successful track record, at least in terms of wins and losses. What's up? Latavius Murray down to the 10. Smart move there by Latavius Murray to get on the ground. Clock is your friend. They're going to make the 49ers eat their timeouts. And the 49ers will use one right now. People say, wow, the success of Jim Harbaugh, why would he not stay in San Francisco? Well, apparently, whether it's tweets, communication, whatever, it's an issue. Jay Glazer of the NFL at Fox pregame show at Fox Sports, very first to report, there was talk back at Cleveland at training camp about making a possible trade if the 49ers wanted to go that route because he has a year remaining on his deal. Well, we don't... We we don't know what we don't know, basically, is what's, what's going on in the 49er organization. But what we do know is something is amiss. The team has been adrift here for the past couple of weeks, whether it's turmoil inside, turmoil with the head coach in the front office. As it relates to football, they are not getting it done. And if, if they lose today, as it appears to be Arizona winning, that fourth straight playoff appearance looks to be as far shot as... What is Tiger What's Woods up? playing golf here on this field today. <laughs> we saw the divots earlier as Murray carries, and that should take us because the 49ers are out of timeouts to the two-minute warning. A perfect blend of storylines with all that's going on around the Raider franchise and the 49ers. Whatever the records were coming in, the Raiders have stood up to San Francisco today. Today's game is sponsored by PlayStation 4. Greatness awaits. Tony Sporato, who took over as the interim head coach with Greg Olson as offensive coordinator. Jason Tarver, defensive coordinator, doing an excellent job today against the 49ers, who are out of timeouts with Latavius Murray carrying 22 times already. And tack on another one for the second-year player who, along with Carr, a good foundation in the backfield for this team. Meanwhile, the 49ers, who will fall to 7-6, and six, play at Seattle. Remember, they were embarrassed at home against the Seahawks on Thanksgiving. Home with San Diego and finish in the Bay Area against Arizona. Well, I think Cardinals they, winning to go to 10-3. Oh, well, they talked about it being a four-game schedule, and we knew all the turmoil that was going on in the building, and their reluctance to talk to the media. They had to win this game. They didn't do it. What's up? On third down and goal, handoff straight ahead, Marcel Reese. Today's game produced by Mike Birch, directed by Michael Frank, technical director Ernest Bauer, Mike Strack, our broadcast associate. We cover everything, including each other, <laughs> by the way. Associate director Tavis Strand, Don Vermillion, and the Bay Area's own Pat Caballero, our lead replay operator is Kevin McCloskey, always terrific on audio to bring you closer to the game. Let me get your thoughts. We look at some of the people. John Gruden doing a fine job announcing. You played for him. Buccaneer head coach, Raider head coach at one time. Would he come back to coaching and take the Raider job? I find it hard to believe that he would. You know, John has been out of it for quite a, quite a while now. I know those rumors. I mean, we heard a lot of them here this week, a bunch of them. Um, 
I know one thing. They need somebody that can embrace this Raider Nation, bring a face back to this team, because it's a shame when an organization with the history that the Raiders have have been in a funk for as long as they have. Well, they've tried a lot of different veteran quarterbacks. You know, they went the young coach route with Lane Kiffin and Dennis Allen. That didn't work. They have a young quarterback to build around. We saw the performance of Carr today, and will they go with it a established coach someone maybe a Mike Holmgren whether it's Harbaugh or Gruden will they go David Shaw's name has come up at Stanford yeah. not sure if he's interested or not these are things you hear as to what the Raiders will do next meanwhile Sperano has to get them through their remaining games at Kansas City home with the Bills and then at the Broncos after this game and a little bit of a celebration <laughs> Tony wasn't ready for that the OT presented by Lowe's coming up and then we're going to take you to Philadelphia for the Seahawks and the Eagles What's in the it? conclusion of that game. Carr is going to keep and sit down. A classy move on the part of the Raiders, not rubbing it in in this Bay Area rivalry. A 24-13 Raider advantage. Well, the questions have to arise now about San Francisco. Their quarterback, how he handled the media this week was... Hey, Chris, That's a little it's, it's unusual, un though. It, 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 it was unlike him, but very unprofessional. And I, he may have been hiding behind some of the poor play, and it, he may have been in, internalizing a lot of the issues on this football team. But when you do that, and I said it at the very beginning of the show, you come out and have a game like San Francisco did today on offense. And you put yourself squarely behind the eight ball, and they're going to face the firing line after this loss. Well, it's never a good thing when your owner, CEO, Jed York, tweets out apologizing to the fans, you know, after the loss on Thanksgiving, saying it's unacceptable. Now, when we talked to the players, they agreed, said it was unacceptable. But this was their chance for the 49ers to do something about it as Kaepernick flips the pass to Vernon Davis to flag down. And he's right at the first down marker. There's no denying. Illegal formation, offense, five-yard penalty, first down. No denying the pass success of what Jim Harbaugh has done. Remember how rough things were in San Francisco before he showed up, took a team right away to the championship, then made the quarterback decision with Kaepernick, went to a Super Bowl back in the championship game last year, toe-to-toe -to -toe with Seattle, the eventual yeah. Super Bowl champs. But the drop-off this year is significant. It's been very significant, very surprising. You know, they talk about wanting to have a physical brand of football, coming out in games, knowing they're going to win, and then going out and doing it. That was not at all the case today. We were looking for somewhat of a statement, Chris, from this 49er team, especially their offense, about how they were going to approach the end of the season. And I'm telling you, this was a dud. And that's the kind of day it has been for Colin Kaepernick and the 49ers. And that's the way it's looked for the Raiders. The loss put in the books here for the 49ers. Seattle winning, so we've yet to tabulate their ninth victory. The future of Jim Harbaugh, not in his mind maybe right now, but in the minds of many up in the air after this year in San Francisco. An impressive performance from Derek Carr and the Raiders. Oakland in the Battle of the Bay with a 24-13 victory over the 49ers, their second win of the season. We'll have more from the Bay Area. You're watching the NFL on Fox.